Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall continue the concept of polynomials which is given in the syllabus of PET, HSTR and GPSTR exams. So already I have taken up enough numericals based on this concept that is uh, basics of polynomials about dividing a uh, division of polynomials those concepts based questions different type of questions and also we have discussed question paper questions the repeated questions also we have discussed in the previous video kindly check the channel description box for the previous video and then you can continue to watch this video and now in this video we will learn about reminder theorem in polynomials very important and especially in case of HSTR and GPSTR okay HSTR and GPSTR exams we can expect these questions and even in TET also the small questions like this they can ask but we can say that about 90 percent there are chances of asking this kind of questions about remainder theorem in HSTR and GPSTR exams even once in TET also there is a question later we will discuss about that Okay, what is uh, this remainder theorem says about if a polynomial p of x is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a then the remainder is p of a so there will be a polynomial given for example you can take uh, x cube plus 2x square plus x minus 1 a polynomial okay so if this is divided by linear polynomial linear means uh, like there is no square right x minus a this is linear the power is 1 the degree is 1 then the remainder will be p of a so whatever a we have this factor okay this constant number that will be for p of a that's what remainder theorem says about now we have to note few points here note Remainder theorem holds good only when the divisor is a binomial and linear. Okay, binomial means it must be of two term x minus a. Generally, this form one term, two term. It's a binomial and it is linear. Okay, then only the remainder theorem holds good. Otherwise, you can go for normal actual division method to find the remainder. Okay, and that is here in the remainder theorem we are finding the remainder is the value of p of x at x is equal to a so here if you simply you can just directly ask uh, solve the question also if it is given x minus a therefore you can take x is equal to a and you can substitute this value wherever you find this x you can substitute the value of a and hence you will get the answer directly okay so moving to the questions now Find the remainder when p of x is given as 4x square minus 3x minus 2 is divided by x minus 1 without actual division. So if they mention without actual division, you can directly do this is a, a simple method of doing. Okay, You can do actual division also to get the remainder. No problem, you will get the same answer. But whenever they mention like this, this kind of questions you can expect in GPSTR exams. Okay, Whatever the clue given in the sum the question you have to follow that so here without performing actual division you can calculate the remainder find the remainder what is p of x value it's given and the divisor is given as x minus 1 and this is x minus 1 is a divisor and you can compare this with the standard form of the divisor that is x minus a therefore what is in a place therefore a value is equal to 1 and hence even we can substitute this value as x is equal to 1 ok because we know that this p of x value when you calculate the remainder value of p of x and then x is equal to a we have taken therefore x is equal to 1 so simply if you want to just substitute you can just check out with this x minus 1 ok without getting confusion x is equal to you take this if you take this is equal to 0 and then minus 1 become plus 1 ok this is how also you can just directly substitute if you are getting confused ok but actually this is the right method now 
therefore x value is equal to 1 in the given polynomial you substitute x value is equal to 1 1 square here 1 and simplify this you get the answer is minus 1 therefore the remainder is minus 1 within no time you can get the answer if it is of multiple choice questions you no need to write all this you know directly you can just when you look at this divisor you will come to know x is equal to 1 okay if it is minus 1 it's standard form you can compare and directly you can substitute don't waste your time much in writing this again copying down no need okay hence you can save the time moving to the next question find the remainder when p of x is equal to x square plus 11x plus 30 is divided by x plus 3 here they did not mention any method okay either you can do by actual division method or using um, remainder theorem you can do using remainder theorem if you do very easily you will get the answer than the actual division that may take time okay so here what is the divisor given x plus 3 hence what is the value of x x is equal to minus 3 you will get because we are comparing this x plus 3 with the standard form that is x minus a so what is in place of a here in place of a we have we, we need to get plus 3 right so that you can write as x minus of minus 3 then you will get minus 2 minus plus hence x plus 3 will get back therefore in a's place when you compare this a is equal to minus 3 and hence x is equal to minus 3 ok so you can just directly take x is equal to minus 3 substitute the value of x as minus 3 and hence you will get the remainder that is 6 you are getting ok moving to the next question find the remainder using remainder theorem and verify the result by actual division where p of x value is given and g of x is given first we need to use the remainder theorem and get the remainder then do the actual division method and you can get the answer if they mention this kind of descriptive type of questions they will ask only in gpscr exams provided that if they make no changes in the hstr in HST high school teachers recruitment there are no descriptive type questions right it's of multiple choice so you can just directly do this method and to find the reminder only so much question will be given this verification and all if at all asked they may ask in GPSTR only and as usual you will check for the g of x value that is x minus 3 that is the divisor x minus 3 when you compare with the standard form x minus a what is the value of a a is equal to 3 right therefore x is equal to 3 then substitute x is equal to 3 in this given polynomial you will get the remainder as 47 therefore you can verify this by actual division method if you do also take this as a dividend divisor you will get the remainder as 47 you can just work out this and check it out and if you get the answer comment in the comment section moving to next type of question a different question if the polynomial there is a polynomial given and another polynomial two polynomials are given leave the same remainder when divided by x minus 1 find the value of a ok so this kind of question you can expect in GPSTR and HSTR exams also ok very 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 important ok lengthy question so important question you can expect in HSTR exams also so um, actually last HSTR exam 2015 there was a question like this based on this so um, two polynomials are given how to find the value of a here and they have given the clue that they leave the same remainder when divided by x minus 1 therefore what is the value of x here x minus 1 is in the standard form x minus a therefore a is equal to 1 and hence x is equal to 1 on substituting x is equal to 1 for the first polynomial p1 for this polynomial you will get the some answer for example you are getting the answer as p1 of 1 when you substitute you are getting the answer as a ok keep it aside then that is the first reminder then for the second one polynomial, second polynomial you substitute the value of a is 1 again again you are getting the answer as minus 2 minus a ok two answers you got two remainders you got and they have given the clue in the equation itself in the question itself that is the remainders are the same hence you can equate this a is equal to minus 2 minus a so taking this a the other side becomes 2a which which is equal to minus 2 therefore a is equal to minus 1 and hence you got the answer a is equal to minus 1 so you can easily find out 
remember if it is a descriptive type questions you can write this and then substitute substitution is very very important which carries marks if it is not of descriptive type you can just directly substitute it and get the answer next we shall check out with few question paper questions from this remainder theorem the polynomial here there is a polynomial and another polynomial two polynomials are given is divided by x minus 2 okay this is the device that is given and leaves the remainder r1 and r2 respectively find the value of a if r1 is equal to r2 here also same kind of question i think i already we have solved this complete question paper of hst 2015 for both physics and mathematics we have solved you can check the description box okay or if, if you know directly to calculate it you can just find the answer here comparing with the standard form x minus a a is equal to minus 2 therefore x is equal to plus 2 sorry a is equal to plus 2 in place of a it is 2 therefore x is equal to 2 ok so substituting this x is equal to 2 in the first polynomial you will get one answer that you keep it aside then substituting the same value x is equal to 2 as in the second polynomial you will get one answer on equating this equation 1 and 2 you will find the value of a okay so finally you will arrive at a is equal to minus 1 is the answer you can solve it and you can check it out next this question is asked in TET 2021 when the polynomial x cube minus 5 x square plus 3 x plus 1 is divided by x square minus 2 then the remainder is okay so here I just chosen this question just to tell you that um, even though they asked to calculate this remainder here the divisor if you check it out it is not linear divisor it is not linear so you cannot use this remainder theorem to find out the value the remainder okay hence you can use the actual division method only to find the remainder for this equation one polynomial is given and the divisor is given so you how do we do this and you know by actual division method x cube minus 5x square plus 3x plus 1 and divide this by x square minus 2 like this you can do if you want you can take a 0x also you can just add up because if it is in order it will be easy for you to find out otherwise doing directly also no problem you can get the answer ok so on solving this we will get the remainder as 5x minus 9 so if you get this answer kindly comment in the comment section i think we have already solved this question also you can check it out so with this we have covered the important questions from this uh, reminder theorem okay so in the next class i will continue this concept of polynomials for factor theorem in the next video and then all together i will make a video in kannada okay and then we will follow uh, science videos like chemistry biology and physics also I will take up which will be useful for your TET exams, HSTR and GPSTR exams also. Okay, so you are waiting for the GPSTR results. Fine, hopefully by next month uh, the process will be over, results will be out. Then if you want to improve your scores further, if you are getting the placement jobs, fine, you will get another job. Others, if you are not sure that you have uh, doubts about your results, fine, you can start preparing from now. Okay, focus on the main concepts and uh, at last moment you can just taking up all the videos and if you revise it will be helpful ok so if you like this video kindly give a like when you are watching this video without any response ok if you give a response it will be a boost for us like ok we will get the feedback from you ok thank you thank you for watching